My friend just called me saying we need to go check out her horse immediately because the caregivers this morning called her and said she was kind of walking funky on her front left foot. Oh my goodness, you want a carrot? Yeah, oh, um, okay, okay, just, yeah, just take the whole carrot. Look at that, look at all of this caked on stuff that she, she gets as she's walking. Oh my gosh. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, my friend just called me saying we need to go check out her horse immediately because the caregivers this morning called her and said while they were feeding her horse, she was kind of walking funky on her front left foot. Now we have no idea what the heck could be wrong, but we're thinking it's definitely something with her hoof now. We're gonna have to pick up her hoof. We're gonna have to investigate to make sure she didn't step on anything or anything has cracked open her hoof. But guys, before we hop into today's video and head down to the barn, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head inside and feed Theo breakfast. All right guys, so we have everything set up to not only make Theo's morning bottle, but to also make her breakfast as well. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start off making her morning bottle. So we're gonna take her formula right here, give it a nice big shake, make sure it's mixed evenly, that nothing has settled to the bottom. Okay, I think that's good enough. So we're gonna take the cap off, just like this. And then we're just gonna take our bottle and fill it all the way to the top. All right, there we go, we have a full bottle. Now the only thing left to do is to pop this in the microwave. So as this bottle is heating up, we're gonna chop some vegetables. So we have here, we have a couple grapes, we have carrots, we have zucchini right here, and we also have sweet potato. And of course, we cannot forget Theo's monkey primate diet. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and start cutting up is the grapes. So even though the grapes are not that big, this is way too big for Theo to eat. So we're just gonna cut that up in fours, just like that. Go on ahead and throw it on in. And now we are on to the carrot right here, so we're just gonna go ahead and chop it up, like so. Okay. Now that's good enough for Theo to eat, so we're just gonna go ahead and throw the carrots on in. This has to be one of Theo's favorites. Now Theo also absolutely loves zucchini, so we're just gonna make sure to give him a good amount, just so he's eating all his veggies, so we're just gonna cut it up like so into tiny pieces. Make sure it's nice and diced. Do it to the second piece right here. I'm thinking that's enough once we cut the second piece. Okay, we're just gonna throw it on in here. And guys, look at that. Look how that breakfast is coming along. That looks absolutely amazing, super appetizing, and I bet Theo can't wait to munch on it. So the last thing that we're gonna be chopping here is our sweet potato so since this layer has been exposed in the bag even though the bag is clean what i always like to do is i like to cut the first layer off so we can get to the fresh side right here so now we're going to start cutting and i only think we're going to need one piece right here we can get through it okay and all we want to make sure we do is we cut the edges off because the edges are pretty dirty so we're going to cut 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 everything is already pre-washed now that we got the edges cut off, we're just gonna go on ahead and chop it up. You can see this is a lot thicker. So we wanna make sure that we dice it up where Theo is actually able to eat it. So that's looking good right there. Okay, you can see Theo is screaming in the background. He is so, so hungry and he's ready for his bottle. But the last and final touch we need to add is the primate diet right here. So we're just gonna go on ahead and we're gonna actually have to scoop some out. Okay. So we got a little primate diet out, now that's absolutely perfect. Now we're just gonna go on ahead and crumble it on top of her breakfast veggies right here. Okay, we're going, we're going. It's a little sticky, guys. Okay. All right, now that we have made not only Theo's bottle, but Theo's breakfast right here, let's go take the bottle out of the microwave, feed Theo his bottle, and then give him his breakfast. So we have little Theo right here, and he is just so eager to eat his bottle right here. So wanna wanna just eat a bottle? You can see he was pulling it down, and now he is just munching on it like so. Isn't that so good? You're so hungry this morning. And look at that. 
Just you hear him, guys? He is literally chowing his bottle down. He's creating bubbles in his bottle. I mean, he is just scarfing this bottle down. Isn't that so good? Oh my goodness, that's so yummy for a little monkey tummy. So Theo doesn't want any more of his bottle, but sometimes Theo doesn't finish his bottle completely. So in about 20 to 30 minutes, we are gonna come back, try to give him his bottle again. But guys, I think he's eyeing his veggies right here. So let's see if he wants some. Oh. Oh, you just want to take the whole bowl guys he is just taking it upon himself and he's trying to take the whole bowl buddy you're gonna spill it look oh my goodness you want a you want a biscuit you want a monkey primate biscuit oh okay yeah that's, that's so good oh my gosh here take a bite take a bite oh and he's digging he think he wants to get to the grapes oh my goodness guys he just literally dug down all the way to the bottom to get the grapes. Isn't that so good? Oh my goodness. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to go ahead, put his breakfast in his enclosure, give him his bottle in a little bit, and then we'll hop straight into today's video. So we have just arrived and guys, look how beautiful it is. There is just acres upon acres here. Now we have a bunch of carrots here that we're going to be feeding Lila's horse. So let's stop talking and let's go see her horse. All right, guys, so we're walking in and Lila's calling her name. Let's see how she reacts. We got our carrots out right here. Lila, can I see a carrot? All right. Oh, hello, pretty girl. Oh, my goodness. You want a carrot? Yeah. Oh, um, okay. Okay. Just, yeah, just take the whole carrot. Now, guys, you can see this pretty girl right here is just thousands and thousands of pounds of muscles. I mean, look how beautiful she is. And, guys, if you didn't know this, when you pet a horse's nose, it literally feels like velvet. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be putting her halter on, bringing her out here so we can take a better look at her hooves. So we have got her out of her stall. Now, guys, I want to show you for comparison how tall she is next to me. I mean, look at this right here. This is literally her back right here, and she is a lot taller than me. Isn't that right, pretty? girl so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be going into this trunk right here where it has all of coca's necessities right here so lila says that we're gonna be getting this oil right here to put on her hooves and also our hoof picker right here so guys let's just get right into it so the foot that coca was having problems with was her front left foot right here so she's been limping on it a little bit and acting really strange so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to completely pick her leg up and start picking at it to see what we can find all right, guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some pressure on her like this. All right, come on, hook up. All right, we got our huff up right here. Now, guys, if you see that, if you guys don't know what this is right here, that is her shoe. Now, the reason she has this shoe is because she is a performance horse. She is a jumper, so she needs to have this shoe to protect this little girl right here. Since she is, she is constantly doing performances, she is constantly jumping. So she needs that shoe to protect her from anything that could get into her huff and any damages that could happen while she's performing. So, guys, let's just get on digging right here. So we're just going to do the same exact thing. Come on, Coco. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pointy end right here and we're just gonna start picking and just look at that. Look at all of this caked on stuff that she she gets as she's walking in. Guys, look at that. Look how thick this is. I mean, that is absolutely crazy. All right, guys, now we're just gonna keep on picking. We are gonna find out what the problem is. And guys, just look how caked on this is. And oh my gosh, that nail just came out of her hoof, guys. Look at this. This nail was literally wedged into her hoof. This is probably pressing against her little hoof right here and just really bothering this little girl. Oh my goodness. So we're just gonna give her a little breather right here. Maybe give her some more carrots so she's relaxed because guys, imagine this giant nail stuck in your foot. Oh my goodness, Coca. We're here to help you, baby girl. Oh my gosh, guys, that's crazy. Now guys, now that we got the nail out, what we need to keep doing is we need to keep getting all of this dirty stuff out to make sure that the nail didn't go through a hoof and cause an abscess or maybe even pus because if that's the case, we need to have further medical attention from a vet. So what we're gonna keep doing is we are just gonna keep on scraping right here. Okay, now we're gonna apply a little pressure and just keep on going all around here. You can just see how nasty that is. We're gonna dust it off right here and you can see there is our hoof right there. So we just wanna clean this side as well. All right, we're going, we're getting the nasty stuff out. Okay, we're just gonna get all here too. Okay, now we've got most of it out right here. It doesn't seem like the nail has punctured the hoof right here, but guys, 
you never ever want to get this area right here you never want to pick this with a hoof picker because this is called the frog now that area is super super sensitive and can really hurt your horse if you try to pick this area right here so we definitely want to avoid that area we just want to keep on cleaning it out right here and her hoof seems pretty good so guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the other three hoofs to make sure there's no nails inside a few moments later so guys we have finished picking our hooves and if you look at the floor right here you can see that all of the stuff that was compacted in her hooves are finally out so she is finally being relieved so it's great news that there was no more nails in any of the other hooves so we're definitely going to need to give this girl some rest she's not going to be able to ride for a little while because this foot has been hurting her for quite some time so what we're going to do now is we're just going to moisturize her hoof right here so we're just going to take this hoof polish right here and we're just going to go on here and pretend like we're painting her nails oh my gosh that feels so great so we're going to do it to this one right here all right that looks so beautiful and now we're going to give it another dip and just wow we are painting your nails they're so beautiful coca you must feel like a brand new girl now guys what we're going to do now is we're going to do the last two hooves and then we're going to check out her teeth so now that all of her hooves are nice and polished, the last thing we want to do is we want to check her teeth and check her gums. Now the reason we want to check her teeth and gums is because if her gums are discolored in any sort of way, that could mean a lot about a horse's health. So if they are a pinkish color, that could mean she has liver problems or even worse. So what we just want to do is we just want to take this little girl right here and oh my goodness, we got pretty pink gums. You guys see that? Just look how big her teeth are. But her gums look good. Her teeth look good. This girl is nice and healthy. But guys, that is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video give this video a big thumbs up and guys comment down below what you thought of this nail that was stuck in this poor girl's hooves i mean this probably hurt so so bad for this pretty girl but thankfully we got it out now guys if you want to see more crazy animal videos with this girl well, what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel in the link down below <laughs>